In today's tutorial, I am going to show you how to make a realistic book design in PowerPoint. And this is very beneficial for school students, teachers, doctors, working professionals and everyone. This is very good for your presentation. So let me just show you how it looks. You can see here I've just put the leather uh, case on the top as the cover page and then I've put my presentation book as the title. And you can just put your own title here and then I've added the, the spiral binding effect. And when I click the books open and it takes you to the first page as you can see here this is topic one you can add the details and then i have put as a page one here with different color and when i click it will take me to the page two and three again i've just put some funnel process my own designs here this is the page two and here i put heart anatomy again this is the page three again when i click it will show me the page four and page five and then the last one it will close the book and it says thank you so you can add as many as pages you want so let's see how to do this in powerpoint to make the book realistic i'm going to use these two leather images i'm going to use this as the outer cover of the book and this is the inner cover of the book these two images i have downloaded from the internet now let's add a new slide go to view enable the guides and i'm going to draw a rectangle for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle and draw the rectangle from the center you can see here again how much size it's up to you i'm going to select this much size and shape outline make it no outline and i'm going to copy this outer cover on this paper for that right mouse click go to format shape and you can just come and say picture or texture fill because I have used already so it's coming otherwise you have to just go here select this press ctrl C to copy come here select this image or the rectangle and then you have to just clip on, uh, click on the clipboard so it will uh, come the same image here now I'm going to add the spiral effect for that I'm going to add the small uh, square shapes or the rectangle shapes for that go to insert shapes select the rectangle draw the small rectangle maybe this much size shape outline make it no outline shape fill i'm going to select white and i'm going to give some shadow effect for that go to effects shadows and inner select this one which is inside top left so you end up getting this effect so let me just zoom in let me just bring this up so that it will be easy now i'm going to add the spiral binding here for that go to insert shapes and from rec uh, from basic shapes i'm going to select this one which is arc you can see here this color and go to line increase the width you can make it maybe five five point you can see here and bring this here and then I'm just going to make it round you can see here something like this round and then I'm just going to give the gradient fill for this for that select the gradient fill and you can see here there are four stops first stop I'm selecting go to color and choose the black color then select the second stop bring it here make it white select the third one you can make it a gray color you can see here or like a dark gray and the fourth one again select the black so you end up getting this shape you can see here and then i'm just going to select this press ctrl d to duplicate and just add one by one at the bottom you can see here press ctrl d just keep on adding so you can see here the spiral binding effect has been created now if you want you can just reduce the size or you can just uh, this size is also okay now i'm just going to add the the title here for that go to insert text box select type any text for example i'll just say my presentation book you can see here 
and then make it white font increase the size and I'm going to change the font to Oswald or any font of your choice you can select it center aligned and then go to format text effects go to shadow and from inner select this one which is inside center so you end up getting this shape now the first page is ready now let's work on the second page for that select the first slide right mouse click and just say duplicate slide or you can press ctrl d also now i'm going to just remove this text from the second slide and as i said i'm going to use this as my inner cover so i'm going to select press ctrl c come to the second slide select this go to fill and line and click on the clipboard you can see here picture or texture fill just click on the clipboard so you end up getting this image here now i'm going to copy this image or this particular uh, cover to the other side left side press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring it here you can see here you can give a small gap in the center something like this and then i'm just going to select go to format send this to back now if you see here here the spiral binding is just closing it on the the first one so i want the same boxes to be created on the left side and the spiral binding should go towards that boxes for that let me just select the boxes first you can see here i'm just highlighting and press ctrl you can want ctrl g to group it you can make it one and press ctrl d to duplicate it and bring the other side you can see here and i'm going to select both of these and i'm going to format going to give some darker colors here you can see here or if you want you can make it more darker color and then when we add the paper it looks good so now let me just go here zoom in i'm just going to select this go to format bring to front and you can see here this point i'm just going to put it here all right and then bring this closer you can see here or if you want you can just increase the size also but doesn't matter so I'm just going to select each or you can just select one by one all you can see here bring to front and then start reducing the size you can see here or simply way I'm just going to select only this delete it then just select this press ctrl d to copy ctrl d you can see here i'm just copying here so you keep on copying so it comes something like this so before that let me just delete this i'll select press ctrl d i will adjust it you can see here I'm just going to put it here let me just arrange it so it looks in the center press ctrl D and just you can see here just press ctrl D so that it will add in the center So you can see here our this inner page with the spiral binding is ready now it's time to add the paper so before adding the paper i'm just going to highlight the spiral binding press ctrl g to group it then go to insert shapes select the rectangle again and draw the rectangle maybe this much size you can see here this is the paper let me just reduce the size and shape outline make it no outline and shape fill i'm going to select the white color and then just send this to back so it looks something like this here and then i want if you want you can just add the lines or if you want you can keep it a blank also 
let me just go to view remove the guides now i want to give a cutting here for that go to insert shapes select the rounded corner rectangle and how much you need the cutting maybe more for example i want to cut this much here from the bottom so i'm going to select this and hold the shift key and select this shape merge shape and just say subtract so you can see here you end up getting this kind of shape and then i want to add one more rectangle here you can see here maybe this much size reduce the size shape outline make it no outline and give color of your choice and then send this to back so it looks something like this i'm going to select both of this and give the shadow effect which is the offset right you can see here and then you can just add the page number here go to text box and i'm just saying page page 01 and you can go to rotate this one and put the page number here you can see here make it bold increase the size or if you want you can just add your subject also so now here we need to add the transition effect so before that let me just select this paper and this text box and this image and press ctrl g to group it and again send this to back now i don't need this third slide let me just delete this Se select the second slide go to transition and from here select the page curl can you see here page curl it comes something like this so if i see if i play it comes something like this all right so this is my second paper again you want add some text here i'll just say subject one or subject maths or whatever you call it and i'm going to select the font which is hand off scene you can see here and you can add the detailed text here now this is your second page now i want to add the third page for that right mouse click duplicate slide and this one i want to add it here also so let me just select this press ctrl d to duplicate and go to format rotate you can see here i'm just saying flip horizontal and change the shadow effect also which is offset left you can see here and then just put it here exactly sorry and send this to back so you can see here so this is also we have done let me just move this a little bit yes and this color i'm going to change to some other color of your choice maybe green and i'll just say this is page two and this is page three and this color will be changed to some other colors maybe a red one and this font i'm changing to white you can see here so it's more visible and say this is the another subject just say this is topic three this is topic two you can see here now if i play now if you see here if i play now this is the first page you can see a page number one when i click this page number one becomes page number two this side and then the page number three comes so how many pages you want you can just add that number of pages now i'm going to add the last page for example i'm just going to select the first page press ctrl d bring it at the end you can see here for this also we need to give the same transition which is the uh, the curl you can see here and then we have to just bring this the other side so before that if you want we can just group this press ctrl g to group it 
I'm going to select this both bring the other side you can see here and then I'm just selecting this go to format and you can just rotate it and I'll just put it here see and this one I'll just say for example thank you and I'll add it here now let's see how it looks so this is the cover page my presentation book when I click it opens it shows the first page you can add any text then when I click it opens the second page which is page number two and this page number three and assume that you have added so many pages and the last pages will be something like this thank you isn't it cool you can use it for a variety of purposes That's it from me friends. Thank you for watching my YouTube channel and don't forget to subscribe PowerPoint University. See you soon with more interesting stuff. Till then, goodbye.